it's getting to that time of year. Y'all already know EA play right around the corner, but not just that. It is time for news to start rolling out right now. And guess what? I got some for y'all boys. Now, I can't even take all the credit for this. Shout out to my man, Yo Ho, for even telling me about this. He the one that told me about it. So, you know, shout out to the man. Go follow him on the gram. Bars. But y'all know me. Before I get too far into this video, tell a hater what? Worry about yourself. So typically around this time of year, we either get people getting face scanned or we get some type of motion capture. We get something in regards to news for NBA Live 20. It may not specifically be gameplay at this point in time, but we do get something hinting at gameplay at this point in time. Now, of course, this year after NBA Live 19, there's a lot of things that people want fixed in NBA Live, but will that actually happen? I can't say for sure, but hopefully we have something bright to look forward to. We've only gotten little things leaked out about NBA Live 20 so far, for example, the WNBA players, the rookies actually getting scanned, and so on and so forth. But this is one other thing that I feel like can actually benefit NBA Live in the future, especially from a dribbling mechanic standpoint. It feels like this is going to be the direction they go in, and hopefully it's somewhat similar to NBA Live 14 and 15. As you can see, we have Pat the Rock here actually dribbling stationary. So what that means to me is it looks like he's actually gearing up for a size up. And if NBA Live is adding size ups back to the game, that is definitely something welcome, given that they haven't had size ups in the game since NBA Live 15. So do you guys feel like this motion capture is actually to add size ups back into the game? Or do you feel like it's for something else that EA Sports is planning for NBA Live 20? Let me know, please, because I want to know what you guys think about how EA Sports is going about doing their motion capture. If you saw the NBA 2K motion capture, you saw that there was more than one person on the court at the same time as the actual offensive player so that you can get one-to-one -one interactions with the players. Is EA Sports going to do that with other motion captures or are they going to continue to do one person on defense, one person on offense? Do you feel like they're going to do something a little bit better so that we have better animations, better interactions, better just overall flow of the game? That's what I'm hoping for for NBA Live 20. But we'll never know. We'll see, though. Statement, Dunker. What's that? When you equip it, you'll know. It gives you powers that you wouldn't believe. Wow, Fly Guy, I'm going to be just like you when I get on the court. But I got one more question. Why do you keep jumping around like that? Are you ready now? No, little man. I got to take a piss.